This has always been something that has always uh, interested me in these uh, uh, New York Times stories slash obituaries. Martin Jacobson, Coach Jake, winning his high school coach in New York City history, dead at. Once you win a championship, you have no idea what that feels like. Coach, you've built a monster program. You have tons of pros, college players. For me, I'm thinking about bigger things, making bigger money. Everything is hard with me if I'm a single parent with them. You understand me if I have to go to work and I come home and I have to cook. Jake is all about winning. He hates losing. When I talk to you, look at me. He's gotten the name for the school, for the team, for himself. He told me about his previous addiction. He told me he had been a heroin addict. I saw him actually shooting up heroin, but I didn't know that that's what it was. In 1994, Jacobson learned he had hepatitis C. Question of whether suppression therapy, um, like we have for hepatitis B, mm -hmm. um, would be worthwhile. All right, don't this talk to me like that. That's what I'm telling you. Hey, fuck this whole team shit. Don't talk to me like hey, that. Hey, bad day, good day. No more bad days allowed. Hey, come on, ref. Tyro, pick the game up. When you're an a heroin addict, you, you're looking for the, this endorphins to kick in and you fall to feeling and just to get to the state of mind. This sport is addicting, this, this coaching is definitely addicting, winning is addicting. When you're 50, you can say, okay, I got 30 years left. When you're 60, you could say, okay, I got 25 years left. When you're 70, what do you say? Must win that championship, no matter what.